45 fights, 44 victories, only that one loss to Muhammad Ali. The opponent, Pedro Augusto, was from Puerto Rico, now resides in Oradell, New Jersey. His record, 27-7-1. The bell for first round action will develop the rules of the fight as we go. It's a small ring, designed almost for George Foreman, because it's only 16 feet square, or maybe designed for midget performers. It'd be very hard for Augusto to get away from Foreman in this ring. 10-ounce gloves at the request of Gil Clancy, Foreman Spring. A growing trend in non-titled heavyweight bouts these days. 10-ounce gloves pushing the blow. It's war on a 10-point plus scoring system per round. The mandatory eighth count in case of a knockdown in effect. The free knockdown rule in effect. There will be no saving by the bell. So there are the nuts and bolts. We continue now with first round action. George, as I said, former heavyweight champion of the world. Well, ever since his last to Ali, while he didn't fight it, 75 has been strong on the comeback trail in 76. And of course, there was the second knockout of Joe Frazier. Two minutes left in round one. That was last June at the Nassau Memorial Coliseum in Hempstead, New York. All right, Referee is Jay Edson. He will score the fight along with judges Frank Barberry and Dr. Donald Spence. George, never a graceful fighter. Sometimes ponderous and awkward in his moves, but awkwardly clever. He knows how to cut the ring off on an opponent. And of course, his punches are pulverizing with either hand. A left hook that operates like a piston, and the right can knock you into the clouds. All right, boys, let's push out of it. That's it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Stop holding. All right. Slugger's first round action. As for Augusto, ordinarily, although he's not doing it in this first round, he's a keep coming at you fighter in the manner of Joe Frazier. His best weapon, a left hook. Fought Floyd Patterson in 72, broke Floyd's nose in the first right, round, on, then suffered his own broken hand in the fight, lost on a TKO in the seventh. Big disparity in the size of the two men. Foreman at 226 at the weigh-in yesterday, Augusto at 203. Foreman was at 224 when he knocked out Frazier last June says that he's taken off 12 pounds since yesterday. Figures he's really at about 222. We're counting down toward the end of the first round. Gusto staying away, which is the better part of wisdom. We are coming up to the end of round one, which Augusto will survive. Day and night. The bell for round two, live here in the Municipal Auditorium, Pensacola, Florida, George Foreman against Pedro Augusto. Pedro Augusto. Now a resident of Oradell, New Jersey. Foreman looking at you there in the red trunk. Augusto in the red. All right, let's break that up. Break that up. George just pacing himself through the first round. Augusto not adhering to his more recognized style of fighting. Discretion being the better part of valor. Instead of coming at George, which would be a tailor-made way for George to put you away in the first round, tried to stay away. Use the left, crouch, bob and weave, keep the head moving. George missing with that one, for instance, and missing with that. George looking to perfect his timing, stay active. And looking ahead toward bigger, more important fights like Jimmy Young and Muhammad Ali. That's the dream, to get back at Ali. Good quick left by George. Notable thing about Foreman, under the tutelage of Gil Clancy and Charlie Shipes, both of whom are working George's corner, along with Sid Martin, is that he has shortened his punches. He doesn't loop them nearly as much as he once did. See that left quick straight short? It's the way he demolished Joe Frazier second time around. Fifth round, last two. He had other tune-up matches with the likes of Scott Ledoux. Did away with him in three. Dino Dennis did away with him in four. George working to the midsection, and what a toll that left will take of Augusto's midsection. See that long left? <laughs> left 
again to the midsection. Two more of those, and just go to double up. Do that. Wait a minute. Jay in the referee. Not a warning about low blows, although George apologized to Jay Edson, who lifted up the pants of Pedro Augusta. Working Augusto's corner, his manager, Dal Duba. Ace Morado is the trainer. Bill Frazan is the cut. The old Frazan boxer. Cut man. Calling back to memory the likes of Whitey Bernstein, who was as good as I ever saw. Second round action. And that left hurt Augusta. That left hurt Augusta. And then a right uppercut. Another right uppercut. Foreman just measuring the opponent. Oh, a right to the midsection. Augusto is staggering now. Rubbery leg. He's ready to go. George backing off. Throwing his punches. Then this power as we approach the end of round two and Augusto is ready to be taken. George Foreman ready to start action in the third round against Pedro Augusto. It's been a tune-up fight as expected thus far. A complaint by Augusto's manager that Foreman's been hitting low. But I talked with referee Jay Edson and he said they were not low blows and that was why he lifted up Augusto's front. Of course, we covered that in the second round. How oh, that time is. Well, we'll give you a little risk. No, 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 no. Go ahead. No, no. I wanted to do it for him. I was doing it for him. I got it right, George. Let's go. Let's go. With Mike J. Edson, the referee, and as you can see, he's a good referee. He's from Naples, Florida. And he handled the home strike that we did last Sunday aboard the aircraft carrier Lexington. And that goes quickly heard again. George is ready to put him away. He's a little angry that Jay Edson right there. George just measuring. I wonder how long Augusto will stand. Right now, he doesn't have handle. Augusto was by Foreman. And he has a long Foreman. Not that kind of man handle. All right, push out of it. That's it. That's okay. That's good. Knowing George Foreman as I do, and of course, he's my colleague at many of these ABC all right, matches that's all right. that we carry, and many fights that we carry on ABC. I know when George is angry, and right now he's angry. Good, that's right. Snapped Augusto's head back. Oh, into the midsection. Please, please. No question of low blow. The thing's coming down again. Two rights to the head. Again, up come the trunk. When he comes back there. And an audit to the corner to fix Augusto's trunk when he comes back. Augusto is alive on game this. Fifty seconds left in round three. Lynn target practice performance from the beginning. But Augusto has not yet been put away. Look at that head snack back. A left and a right that missed and a right to throw. Another right and a left and down goes Augusto. Long overdue. It's been target Five. practice and I don't think Augusto will be able to. Yes, he's going to get up. Nine. Okay, all right. It only delays the inevitable. The trunks have dropped again. Wild swings by Augusto. Or at least one wild swing. Look at Foreman clean up. Total mismatch. There he goes. Just a brutal mismatch. Five, six, seven. This eight, will do it. Nine. Set. All right, let's go. Come on. Bell. Bell. Edson says he Bell. got up in time. Bell. Oh. Oh. And the bell for the end of round three. Curious ending, wasn't it? Augusto up there dead on the canvas. Look at those slow mos now. This is knockdown number one, though. Glancing left, which still was enough to hurt him. Then the right. Augusto trying to come back. There's the right and the left. Powerhouse combination. Down one Augusto. Peculiar the way he just lies there, flat. You think he's more dead than alive and bang, suddenly up. 
Let's look at the second knockdown. It was the left there that did it. Really was. Now look at him. Well, you're looking at him alive and as well as he can be under the circumstances in the corner. Last week, we had the opening of the U.S. Boxing Championship Series quarterfinals action aboard the aircraft carrier Lexington. Thus far, the way Foreman is manhandling for Augusto, they could have fought this one in a submarine. George Foreman. Angered a little bit by the actions of Jay Edson, who is absolutely correct in the way he handled form. Edson's a pro. Maintains position in the ring and commands a fight. Fourth round up. Dominic Dawson, the Red Trunks. Sharp shooter, Pedro Augusta, who was floored twice in the third round, seemed out, and suddenly jumped to his feet at the count of nine, just before the count of ten, Foreman fought in the goal, but Edson said it was. Jay Edson, the referee. Long left, Augusto's gloves come down low, George Punches away. Oh, that's a right. Augusto ready to go again, dancing backward against the ropes. George just throwing punches. Young Clancy yelling, just move him around, George. Just move him around. puts a halt to this fight. If it got, there he does it again. It's a bouncing ball. Edson asks him if he's all right. He says yes. But Mick quickly receives more punishment. Fourth round action. Four knockdowns. Two in the third, two in the fourth. Look at George pulverizing. That's it. End of fight. Three knockdown rule. Third time down. working his way steadily right. toward what he hopes will be a rematch with Muhammad Ali.